All right, this is the start of our house tour for Leviticus. Um, and here we're downstairs in the movie theater. This is our Funko collection, uh, not all of it. We have about 600 more Funkos in storage. Um, if you go down this way, excuse the Christmas is still up. Uh, we like to celebrate. Uh, this is our bar. Uh, and then over here, um, we're big Muppet fans in this household. So um, we have a lot of Muppet memorabilia. Uh, and uh, of course, our uh, signed uh, Jim Henson signature, uh, which is really incredible. And I framed it with the Life magazine. Um, and if you turn around here, uh, you can see our movie theater. Um, and then over to the side here, which I will walk over to, is some of our more uh, expensive collectibles. So we have them in a showcase next to the theater. Um, Iron Giant, um, some anime from Chopper, some uh, Dark Crystal. This is a recent purchase, which I reorganized, uh, redid, Kermit the Frog came broken, uh, so I had to redo the whole thing uh, and add all the greenery. Uh, our roommate Sherry has a lot of vintage Star Wars, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, Thanos, my lord and savior, uh, more Star Wars, and then if you go down to the bottom, uh, we just have a lot more Star Wars, other great statues, Illidan from World of Warcraft, more things down there. Let's see if I can get you a screenshot of our movie theater, which is really cool. Um, lots of Christmas trees and so on. Um, big fan of the Iron Giant, so lots of Iron Giant artwork. Um, and um, this is basically it for collectibles in this room. Um, so if we go this way, oh, this is a basically life-size Harry Potter FAO Shorts exclusive of, um, a hippogriff from the Harry Potter movies, Buckbeak. Uh, really, really super hard to get and was fortunate to get one this past summer. So we're going to move into the big master room. Um, Sherry, our roommate who's 76, collects a lot of Lord of the Rings. We're waiting for a big case to come in, so we have these tables here for now. I'm sort of spotlighting a bunch of her collection. Um, yeah, she, but she just has a ton. So I'll show you behind the big Christmas tree to my right. Um, there is a big wall here, which just has a lot of her Lord of the Rings pieces. And then there's a big empty space, but we're gonna move this glass case and there's gonna be one huge area um, with a, with a module um, collectible case that's coming in about two months. Uh, and this is Sherry's sort of living room area as well, um, which is pretty cool. She has lots of Lord of the Rings. And then up around the top, we have about a 30 foot ceiling here, maybe 29. Um, a lot of our really upscale, expensive Harry Potter artwork designed by Mina Lena, who are the graphic designers for the Harry Potter movie. Uh, so we try to utilize all the space we can, um, which is really neat. And if you look over here, this is Sherry's collection of DVDs and Blu-rays, 4Ks. It's pretty crazy, probably three or 4,000 movies there. Um, and then if we start moving over to the left side of this ginormous room, and I'll show you the top, uh, more Harry Potter stuff, of course. Um, it's kind of a bitch to get a ladder up there. Um, this is sort of the entry to the Harry Potter area. Um, that's my partner's mother who passed away. That was a picture of her when she was 16, so we always keep that in the house. Um, <laughs> there is some Lord of the Rings here when you come in. Uh, 41 inch tall tree beard from Winter Workshop and a smog that whole system lights up. Uh, and this is really the start of a massive collection of Harry Potter memorabilia, probably three, 4,000 items. And we have a ton in storage. We just have so much we can't display at all, um, which is pretty crazy. Um, but I'll do a quick walkthrough. 
Um, bunch of busts here from Gentle Giant, who no longer makes Harry Potter statues, uh, but they're super cool. Uh, pretty hard to get at this point. Uh, we have tons of wands. Um, we do not have every wand. We have over a hundred wands that Noble Collection has made, but there's about seven new ones that they've come up with recently that we do not own. Um, uh, and I'll show you all the wand boxes. Here's just a bunch of the China stuff from Harry Potter. And you'll notice there's things in here that are not Harry Potter because we wanted to make it look um, like it's not all Harry Potter, like it's a room and an environment. Um, uh, we have two chairs in here. Uh, so you can come in here and just sort of sit and uh, look at all the Harry Potter stuff. On this side, there's more Harry Potter merchandise. We even have some mannequins sporting some of the clothing. A uh, bunch of artwork here we need to hang up. Not all Harry Potter, some of it in the rest of the house. But I'm sort of storing it here for the moment. Um, uh, we have the Harry Potter Lego castle, which I'll see if I can light up for you. Let's see. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can buy the lighting kit online and then put it with the castle, which is just incredible. It took us over a week and a half to put it all together. Um, let me turn that off. Um, if you go over here to the left is all our wand boxes for all the wands that we have. Not all the wands that we have have boxes. Some of them come in cases or displays already. Um, then if you move over to the side, more wands. Oh, someone just came in the front door. I'm doing a video. And then if we come back here, uh, we have a three-headed... Fluffy, which is made also by F.A.S. Schwartz. Um, and then we will go upstairs. Um, uh, when you go upstairs on this side, there is a bunch of frames. These are all our sort of favorite autographs that we've gotten. Some in person, some we've bought in, most of them in person. Um, I'll just do a quick walk by as I go. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas, some of my favorites. Um, this is uh, Luna Lovegood. That's not a real name, but in the Harry Potter movies. Uh, Speed Racer. Oh, Kick-Ass, where we met the stars. And uh, lots and lots of autographs. Here you can go up. And then here is, as we go up the stairs, just sort of a top view of all the rooms, or this big room, I should say. Um, it's a pretty big room. It's probably over, God, it's probably as longer than it is tall, so it's probably 40 feet long. So we did sort of separate that into three sort of distinct areas. Usually where the Christmas tree is, that's the dining room. Um, and then, can sort of see how large this room is when you're at the top of the stairs. So that's the Harry Potter room, that's Sherry's living room, that is usually where the dining room table is. Um, and then we'll swing around here. I have a lot of animation art. Um, this is Yosemite Sam uh, from Looney Tunes. Um, not the original background at the bottom, but uh, just a really amazing piece. Over here, we have, we're pretty high up at this point. That's a, we put all our owls from Harry Potter over here, so we call this the owl, owlry or whatever, however you pronounce it. Uh, but there's a lot of owls, and they're pretty high up. Um, as we come down the hallway, I'm gonna turn on the light. Uh, we have a ton of artwork from Disney as well. These are all Hipster Mickey uh, artwork pieces on canvas, and I sort of made them as a collage. Um, and I'll just sort of scan around here. Uh, in this hallway junction, there's a bunch of cabinets, um, some Transformers at the top, and then some Naruto figure statues. Um, but we use a lot of these, all these cupboards for artwork and our Disney pins. So we're big Disney pin collectors. We belong to a Disney pin group in the Bay Area. And I will just scroll over some of the pins. This piece actually I designed myself. I took the pins and um, framed uh, the pins and glued all the little flowers in it. Um, 
Same thing with this piece, maybe for Christmas. Some of these you just buy at Disney. Um, some of them are pretty rare, like this one at the top, there's only 25 made of those. Um, so, but if you go around, sorry for the quick motion, uh, and open these cupboards, um, all these cupboards have uh, pins in them, and I try to display them as nicely as possible, but we do have quite a bit. Um, so these are all Disney pins. Cupboard number two, pretty quick. And then if you go to cupboard number three, also a lot of Disney pins. And obviously we can't fit them all in these cupboards. And I will show you the bottom cupboards. So the bottom cupboards have folders in their own names. The Nightmare Before Christmas, Sorcerer Mickey, the last one's not named for some reason. Um, uh, there's a bunch more binders in here and all those pins and those um, green Tupperware dishes are all new ones that we've gotten that I haven't been able to put on the database and put away. Oh, the cat's gonna get stuck. So, um, and then this last cupboard is all our artwork that we get and we put them all into binders, acid-free binders, so it keeps them nice and safe. So we'll turn around, sorry for the crazy, um, motion uh, at the end of the hallway when you come down here this is my muppet collection um from palisade toys basically there's some odds and ends in there but this is a company that was on the east coast unfortunately they're out of business now but the figures are quite hard to get even nowadays uh, some of those figures you had to go to like a women's brunch to get or a you know, there's a special event, um, and I think that's why they went under. They spent so much money on making like 30 figures for one little event. Um, just wasn't, just wasn't worth it. We're gonna go in here real quick. This is the master suite. But I do want to show you that we're big animation collectors. Uh, this is sort of my prized wall. Uh, this is Hogarth from the Iron Giant original pencil sketch. Pencil sketch from Teen Titans. Um, you have down here an original cell from Fern Belly. Um, there's just a we have just a bunch of animation uh, cells throughout the house and uh, animation artwork. Um, so if you go down the hall, back out of the master room, um, you have part of my Transformer collection. Um, uh, it was Transformers was the first thing I ever collected. Uh, probably more than half the collection is in storage, but I was able to at least put some of it on this wall. And um, every shelf is full. Um, there's no more room. Uh, so I, I don't really buy Transformers as much as I used to because um, I have so many. And, um, you know, you can only do so much. Um, some more stuff on this side. And as we go down the hallway to the guest bedroom, here's a signed piece by the voice actor who did... Uh, Jack, there's only five of these, I think, made on canvas. There's posters of this and other sort of types of uh, um, artwork that's made from this image, but only five on canvas. On a canvas. Um, as we go into this spare bedroom uh, and you look around, behind the door is um, our wall of lanyards from all the conventions we've ever gone to which is, looks a little nuts, because it is, because we do go to a lot, not during COVID, but that's okay. Um, and then we just have artwork everywhere in here. Uh, if you look above the door, this is a, a Ninja Turtles piece of original artwork that's actually done on a mailing envelope, and this guy, that's what he does with all his artwork. He does them on unique objects, and it's incredible the amount of detail, because at any moment you could puncture that and go right through so I don't, I'm not sure how we did that. Uh, this room's a little chaotic at the moment, but I'll show you it. Uh, on the bed is all our Baymax collection with hats, I know. Uh, and on this side of the wall over here, uh, there's a ton of Gundam models and figurines. There's sort of a little workstation here as well. Um, some Gundam animation artwork, some Gundam posters. Uh, and if you go on this side where we just recently got a big poster binder, which is over here to the right, but we still ran out of room. We have so many vintage posters and artwork 
I need to get another binder. And then over here and on all these drawers, I'm not sure if I can show you, is where all of the clothing is that you guys see on, um, and just piled up here at the moment is what I post on the random channel. Uh, just some robots I like that I bought. One's sort of crooked, not sure why. Um, and all kinds of stuff. Uh, Kingdom Hearts figures, big Kingdom Hearts fan. Um, and then in the closet, which is probably hard to see, the whole top is all models for um, Gundam. All models that we have to do, which we don't have time for. Uh, so we're gonna go out of here into the office. Uh, the entry of the office is all skateboards that we have, some of our favorites. Uh, we don't skateboard, we just like the artwork. And then if we go into the office, uh, in the meetings you will see behind me is a closet. Uh, we converted the closet into a collectible area because we need the room. And um, if you go up into the closet, we utilize all the closet. Um, even up high, um, let's see if I can get up there. That's a robot my parents bought me from Radio Shack when I was a kid. It still works. I kept it all these years. Probably why I like to work for robot companies. And, um, you know, there's a lot in here. Uh, lots of Voltron, Baymax, um, going really fast, uh, Vader Zim, Teen Titans, um, uh, Iron Giant, of course. Then at the bottom, there's just a bunch of Voltron, Nightmare Before Christmas, which I absolutely love. I'm a huge fan. Um, these are very hard to get. Jack um, replicas. They have a metal interior, so you can pause them any way you want. Uh, and this black one here actually has like 16 heads you can put on it, which is really cool. Um, and then if you swing around, um, lots of other, on the right side of the office, more toys, Naruto, our group collection, Baymax, um, uh, up at the top, these figures are super hard to get. They're made from a company in Seattle called Euclid, no longer around. Um, some of these are so rare that you can't possibly get them. This one's handmade, uh, which is pretty crazy. Um, not the plastic thing itself, but it was hand painted and you, there was only 12 of them. Um, there's just a ton. And then if you come back over here, this wall, I'm gonna trip. Um, you will see that there's a huge Sorcerer Mickey collection. Uh, we're big Sorcerer Mickey fans in this house. Um, and it's growing. So I'm probably gonna have to move the top two shelves. And for Leviticus, here's the one piece. Uh, I'm gonna go pretty slow because I know you wanna see it all. So I'll try to go top shelf and just zigzag my way down. Um, these are called glitter and glamour figurines. They're all the women in one piece. Unfortunately dressed sort of scantily, but at least most of them have clothes. Um, and then we keep going down without me tripping. Um, lots and lots of figures up here. These figures are all about 12 inches tall, maybe 10 inches. We'll go down to the next shelf. And then we get into all the figure outs line, which I absolutely love. They're very detailed. And then I try to collect each one of them, but even with that, I'm missing over 90 figures from this collection. Uh, they just make so many, and some of them are really, really hard to get. So that whole line there is all figure outs, and then we come down. This is figure outs as well. Um, this is all one piece. It's all from one anime show about pirates, and there's so many characters it's crazy um and then down this next shelf my favorite character from the show is a reindeer called chopper he's the ship's medical officer basically and i have about 70 or so choppers i have a lot of choppers so we'll just keep going and now we're back to figure outs um, some of their new things that they're doing is they make a display so all the figures are together, which is pretty cool. This one actually, this next one can make a big circle. And then you go in to this next shelf down here. These are all sort of random figurines. Uh, here they made a couch with figures dressed up in sort of like 
um, clothes that are not represented in the the uh, show itself. Um, more choppers, just more figures, more figures, more figures. Uh, and then we're just gonna keep going down. Um, there's a ton. I'm going really fast, but this video is already 20 minutes, and um, wanted to give you guys a taste of what I collect and what I do in my past, my, you know, my my time that I'm not working. And then we'll do these two shelves together. It might be easier. Um, let's see. Um, just a ton of figures here. Uh, more one piece, all one piece. Um, not every one piece figure I have. There's actually one in the other room and one downstairs. Um, but I hope you guys liked it. That's my collection, Sherry's collection, Kevin's collection, and um, talk to you later.